everybody. I love pasta. Usually with pasta, I just have the simple tomato sauce. But why not make pesto with it? Pesto, everybody thinks is so hard, but it's really actually pretty easy. And you don't have to buy it at the grocery store anymore. So we're gonna start off with some toasted pine nuts, a quarter cup, and it just gives it way more flavor at a pretty low heat. And these get done super fast, so be careful. Now let's start with this food processor. Let's throw in two cups of basil. My mom always has tons of it in her garden, but if you don't have a garden, you can always get it from the grocery store. You can throw in some fresh spinach, but it has to be two cups. Then we're gonna throw in a half cup of olive oil. Another half cup of some fresh Parmesan cheese. And then my favorite part, the garlic. You can throw in three or two um, cloves of garlic, however much you like garlic. And let's get this started. Here's that cap. Okay, here we go. It's all the way locked. Here we go. Okay, our pine nuts are ready. They just got perfectly done. And now they taste even better. And they smell great too. Now let's finish this. Our pesto's done. And it looks really nice and smooth. Just put a little bit, because it's super strong. Mix that together a little bit. Add some more olive oil. Maybe a bit more pesto. There we go. Because I like it pretty strong. Oh, that looks really good. Okay. And then you can plate it up all nice and pretty. And it's pretty messy. And if you've got extra pesto, you can keep it for a little bit later or you can freeze it and save it for three months. Now let's put a little bit of more Parmesan cheese. It looks great without it, but who doesn't love more cheese? And a little bit of fresh basil. And doesn't this look great? I think I've got to take a bite. It's really, really good.